Welcome, history enthusiasts and curious minds, to another journey back in time. Today, we delve into the dawn of Greek civilization, a period rich with cultural evolution and significant contributions that would shape the course of human history. Our story begins in the Bronze Age, a period stretching from 3000 to 1100 BC. This era witnessed the rise of two prominent cultures that would lay the groundwork for Greek civilization, the Minoans and the Mycenaeans. The Minoans, named after the mythical king Minos, were the first advanced civilization in Europe. They flourished on the island of Crete, where they built grand palaces and developed a unique form of writing known as Linear A, which remains undeciphered to this day. The Minoans were renowned for their vibrant frescoes, their complex plumbing systems, and their peaceful society, which seemed to have no need for fortifications or a standing army. Next, we turn to the Greek mainland, where the Mycenaeans were writing their own chapter in history. Known for their military prowess, the Mycenaeans were a warrior society. They built monumental citadels on hilltops and developed a form of writing called Linear B, which was an early form of Greek. Their stories and myths, passed down through generations, would inspire the epic poems of Homer, shaping the Greek identity and its pantheon of gods. Both the Minoans and the Mycenaeans were seafaring cultures, their interactions with other civilizations around the Mediterranean helping to spread ideas and technologies. These interactions laid the groundwork for the Greeks' philosophical and scientific pursuits, their political structures, and their artistic expressions. Thus, the stage was set for the birth of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. As we delve deeper into the timeline, we enter a period known as the Dark Ages. From 1100 to 800 BC, Greece was a land shrouded in mystery and uncertainty. This was a time of migration and displacement, a time when the grandeur of Mycenaean civilization had faded into the shadows. Yet it was out of these shadows that the seeds of a new society began to sprout. The transition from the Dark Ages to the Archaic period around 800 BC marked a new dawn for the Greeks. The emergence of city-states or polis signified a shift from scattered communities to organized political entities. Each city-state, unique in its governance and customs, became a testament to the spirit of autonomy and democracy that would come to define Greek society. Around the same time, Greece began to etch its thoughts and ideas, quite literally, in stone. The development of the Greek alphabet, adapted from the Phoenician script, marked a breakthrough in communication and literature. This new system of writing, with its distinct vowels and consonants, offered the Greeks a tool to document their history, their beliefs, and their tales of gods and heroes. Yet perhaps one of the most significant developments of the Archaic period was the foundation of the Olympic Games. In 769 BC, a simple foot race in Olympia marked the beginning of a tradition that would transcend time. These games held every four years were not merely a display of athletic prowess, but also a testament to the Greeks' reverence for their gods and their commitment to peace among city-states. So as we leave behind the Dark Ages and the Archaic period, we find a civilization reborn, a civilization poised at the brink of a golden age. These developments paved the way for an era of unprecedented growth and prosperity. Now, we arrive at the pinnacle of Greek glory, the Classical Period. This period, stretching from 500 to 336 before the Common Era, represented the zenith of Greek cultural and intellectual achievement. It was a time when the foundations of Western civilization were laid, and the world was introduced to a pantheon of thinkers, artists, and leaders whose influence continues to reverberate today. The classical period was ushered in by a series of conflicts known as the Persian Wars. These were epic battles between the Greek city-states and the mighty Persian Empire, a David versus Goliath struggle that saw the Greeks emerge victorious. The victories, particularly at Marathon and Salamis, not only preserved Greek independence, but also served as a catalyst for a period of unprecedented growth and prosperity. This era is often referred to as the Golden Age of Athens, and for good reason. Under the leadership of statesman Pericles, 
the city became the center of learning and culture. The Acropolis was adorned with architectural marvels like the Parthenon, and the city's democratic institutions flourished. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of this period is the explosion of intellectual inquiry. This was the age of Socrates, who challenged conventional wisdom with his probing questions. Plato, who laid the groundwork for Western philosophy and science, and Aristotle, whose writings covered everything from politics to metaphysics. The arts, too, flourished, with playwrights like Sophocles and Euripides pushing the boundaries of drama and tragedy. The sciences were not left behind either. Figures like Hippocrates laid the foundations for modern medicine, while mathematicians such as Pythagoras and Euclid made groundbreaking contributions to their field. The classical period was a remarkable era, a time when the Greek civilization reached its zenith and left an indelible mark on the world. It was a period that shaped the course of Western civilization and continues to influence our society, culture, and thought. The classical period left an indelible mark on the annals of history. As the classical period waned, a new era dawned, the Hellenistic period. This period, spanning from 336 to 146 BC, was marked by significant changes in the Greek world. At the heart of this era was a name that echoes through the annals of history, Alexander the Great. He ascended the throne of Macedonia in 336 BC and embarked on a series of military campaigns that reshaped the world. His conquests stretched from Greece to Egypt and as far east as India, creating one of the largest empires the world had ever seen. But Alexander's impact extended far beyond his battlefield victories. Under his reign, Greek culture spread across his vast empire like wildfire. This was a time of Hellenization, a process where non-Greek societies came under the influence of Greek culture. This cultural diffusion was one of the defining features of the Hellenistic period. Greek language, arts and philosophy permeated the conquered lands, leaving an indelible imprint that can still be seen today. But the Hellenistic period was not just a time of cultural expansion. It was also an era of phenomenal advancements in various fields. The sciences flourished with figures like Euclid and Archimedes, laying the groundwork for mathematics and engineering. Medicine saw great strides with the works of Galen, while philosophy was enriched by the thoughts of Epicurus and the Stoics. Art and architecture, too, reached new heights during this period. The Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, was a testament to the extraordinary artistic and architectural prowess of the time. The Hellenistic period was a time of remarkable change and growth. It was a period of unification under a common language and culture, of groundbreaking advancements, and of a Greek influence that permeated the corners of the known world. The Hellenistic period saw Greek influence reach its zenith, spreading far and wide across the known world. This era, rich in history and culture, played a pivotal role in shaping our world as we know it. Every great story has an end, and so it was with the Greek civilization. The final chapter of this remarkable tale was written in 146 BC, when the mighty Roman Republic conquered Greece. But this was no ordinary conquest. The Romans, rather than eradicating Greek culture, chose to absorb it, to integrate its wisdom and beauty into their own civilization. The Greek language, arts, philosophy and sciences were adopted and adapted, becoming an integral part of the Roman Empire. Greek gods were synchronized with Roman ones, Greek literature studied in Roman schools, and Greek-style architecture was adopted in Roman cities. In a twist of fate, the conquerors found themselves conquered by the culture of those they had subdued. This absorption of Greek culture by Rome was not the end, but rather a new beginning. Even as it was absorbed, Greek culture continued to influence the world, a testament to its enduring legacy. Our journey through the annals of Greek civilization comes to a close. We've marveled at the dawn of this remarkable civilization, endured the Dark Ages and the Archaic period, relished in the brilliance of the classical era and witnessed the expansive influence of the Hellenistic period. We've seen the end of an era, but the legacy of Greek civilization is far from forgotten. The influence of Greek civilization is undeniable, its echoes resounding through time, shaping the world as we know it. 
From the fundamentals of democracy and philosophy to groundbreaking advancements in science, art and literature, the Greeks left an indelible mark on human history. The remnants of this ancient world serve as a timeless testament to human ingenuity and resilience, reminding us of our shared past and the intricate tapestry of human civilization. If you've enjoyed this journey through time, do like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments, share it with fellow history enthusiasts and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating historical explorations. Until next time, keep exploring.